Hey guys, Nick here and this is my Linux experiment. And today I'd like to talk to you about uh, backupping your system. And I know it's not the most sexiest of topics, but it is an important part of keeping your system safe and sound and your files uh, safely tucked into a external hard drive. So uh, the tool I'm using for this is called Deja Dupe, uh, which is also called Backups uh, in your apps list. It is not installed by default on elementary OS, but you can find it in the App Center by looking for Backups. Uh, and there you go, Backups. This is the thing. So uh, don't ask me why the icon here is black and here it is gray, probably my icon theme. Uh, Backups is a nice backupping client, backup tool, which is based on the Duplicity um, backup system, which is a command line tool based itself on rsync, which is basically just a command line tool to copy uh, files. Uh, so what DejaDupe does really well is backupping incrementally. So that means that when you have a backup, uh, it will not backup automatically everything every single time, which would take so much space. It's going to build some little archives. It's going to make one full backup, and then it's going to build what it, what it calls a backup chain, which means that every single backup after the original full backup, uh, which is not this file, I don't know why I'm hovering over it, uh, after the first backup, every single one will be an incremental backup of a few megabytes. So it will only copy uh, and backup the files that have changed. And uh, so this allows you to save more space, and this allows you uh, as well to not spend too many time using your computer cycles to backup the same files that haven't changed in a month, in a year, in two years. Uh, you will only backup what has changed, and you will keep the original backup. So how does it do it? Well, you can, uh, you can configure it pretty much as well as you would like, so when you install it, it's going to ask you to uh, create your first backup. You're going to select uh, the storage location. Here I'm backupping on a disk which I call Sauvegarde, which in French means saves. And uh, that's where it's backupping. So as you can see, I've been backupping for a long time. You can see, it, I think the first one is only on February, 21st of February. So it's been a long chain of backup. And... Uh, once you selected your uh, your drive, of course, it is recommended that you would not don't back up to the same drive where your files are already saved, because if this drive dies or crashes, well, you will lose everything, including the backups, which kind of defeats the purpose of backupping. So DejaDoop also allows you to schedule your backups with an automatic backup. You can select each day, each week, and keep the files for at least six months, at least a year, a year or forever. So. What that means is that DejaDupe is basically configured to keep two backups, two full backups. So it's going to make a full backup, a backup chain. And when it has backed uh, a few of your files, well, all of your files, but when it has started the chain and uh, the chain is running long, it's going to make a second full backup, then a third full backup after that, when the, when the second backup chain is really long as well. And so it's going to delete the first one you made and keep only the two latest ones because, well, the first one is now obsolete and uh, its chain is obsolete as well, so it needs to be removed. So what it means is that old backups will be deleted earlier if the storage location is low on space. So, of course, if my disk runs out of space, which is not done yet, but still it has already almost half its capacity uh, occupied by backup, so it's going to have to do it soon. It will delete the older backups and keep at least two full backups of your system, if at all possible, uh, uh, regarding to the space you have left on your drives. So you can, of course, uh, specify which folders you want to save. So I don't know why you have twice the same, so I'm going to remove one. And the folders to ignore. So by default, it's going to be the trash and the downloads folder, but you can also add files. Uh, and, uh, and folder. So if I maybe didn't want to back up my game configuration, I could just add this folder uh, to my uh, to my backups list. So that's a pretty easy way to, to do that. And uh, of course, you can also have the little overview that tells you that your when your last backup was. Uh, mine is configured to backup automatically every day. So every day, almost at the same hour when the computer is on, it's going to do a backup. It doesn't use a Chrome task, Chrome being a program that schedules tasks to be run. It uses its own watcher because uh, it needs some user password eventually to connect to some disk drives. And uh, well, Chrome is not well suited for that kind of stuff. So the the drawback of uh, DejaDupe is that those backups are not uh, usable. Uh, oh, that is not the right uh, program. Absolutely not. Uh, as you can see, if I try to open it with a, an archive, uh, if I can find one, 
I don't know why you pulled. Jesus Christ, that iTunes install has really messed up my system lately. Uh, if I can find my archive program, I don't know where it is. <coughs> if I can find it, okay, archive manager. And uh, you'll see it's just a volume. See, it's, it's probably just a virtual disk or a virtual copy. So that means you cannot open your backups and just copy-paste the older files. You can only restore it using Dejadupe. And that's a problem, of course, because that means that if you uh, try to keep your files to transfer them to a computer that does not run Dejadupe, such as maybe a Windows or Mac OS machine that won't have Dejadupe natively configured, you cannot restore these. So these are compatible with any duplicity-enabled uh, tool, uh, duplicity being the back-end uh, for deja do or for backups uh, any any duplicity based tool will be able to restore these but you need to have a computer which can run a duplicity based tool so that means uh, that you will have to keep your system pretty much the same if you want to be able to to back these up and restore them to uh, a new computer or a new system uh, that's a, that's a drawback for me it's not really one because i don't plan on switching uh, out of linux and backups is available not only on elementary os but also on a lot of other linux distributions probably all if you just dare to compile the source code uh, on the ones that do not have uh, backups in its repositories uh, but for me it's not a problem but for some of you guys it might uh, be a, uh, a little uh, problem so well there you go that's a nice backup strategy uh, for you to do it does use a lot of space uh, if i go to the properties i have uh, 300 gigs backed up uh, this includes my whole home folder so there are uh, a few bits of videos that weigh a lot of gigabytes uh, i usually try and transfer them to a separate hard drive uh, to move them to keep my uh, main SSD pretty free. It also includes my Steam games and my Steam library, which is mostly on my main drive and also on a second drive uh, inside my computer. And uh, well, so it, it gets pretty big. Uh, so of course you will want to back up to a disk that has a, a lot of free storage. Uh, I'm currently backing to a 400, uh, 4,400 uh, RPM drive which is uh, plugged in on in USB 2 and it does not take that long. I formatted it on X4 just to make sure that it's compatible with Linux uh, uh, as fully as it can. And well, in a, what, two months of backup, uh, maybe just, no, no, just one month of backup, it's only, it's already 300 gigabytes. So of course when it's gonna delete the older backups which had mostly all my videos, it's gonna reduce the size, but there you go. So well, I hope this uh, encourages you to try and implement a backup strategy for a computer because that is important. Uh, you don't want to lose all your files, all your saves, all your projects, all the things you maybe have written or all the videos you have made. And uh, well, the nice thing is it's, uh, it all, it's also backupping my uh, configurations. So if I want to restore uh, when I will install Elementary OS 5.0 Juno, and uh, well, I'll be sure to make a video about that. Uh, I will have uh, not much to do because I will just have to reinstall backup and plug in my drive and click restore and I'll restore all my home folder right the way it was and uh, with all the configuration files, all the saves and all the tools, uh, all, the, all the config files for all the tools and apps I use. So I won't have to reconfigure everything every, every single time I reinstall a system. So there you go, I hope uh, you enjoyed this video, I hope you learned a few things, and of course there are a lot of other backup tools uh, that can uh, be used, such as Back in Time, which is a nice uh, time machine clone without the incredible user interface, weird user interface that macOS implemented. There are a lot of things, you can already use rsync with the command line if you're really uh, that kind of guy. So no big problem here, but I just wanted to show you the tool that I use and which does the job really well and regularly and is a pretty nice addition to any system. So hope you guys enjoyed the video and well, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!